Hello, everybody! Welcome to Enter the Gungeon! Bullet into the Gungeon for a regular run. I, I, well, you know what? I'll double check and make sure that you cannot do a cursed run as the bullet, but yes. See, there, there's the proof. Anybody who didn't believe me for whatever reason, you cannot do it as the, uh, as the secret characters. Bullet or, I assume, robot. I, I guess I didn't check robot. But I think it's safe to assume. But I, that's okay, I kind of want to do a regular run anyways. I want to make it far with this character. I don't know why I, I haven't been doing too well. He's a totally... Like, I don't know, there's like there's nothing really wrong with him. Whoa! Except for that, I guess, is the, <laughs> the only thing. Melee range, now, is gonna be problematic. But at full health, at full health there's nothing wrong, so I guess that's the... That's the deal. There we go. I think just using my face for those enemies is just straight up easier. Oh, you're still alive. Yes. I, uh, it's been like two rooms. Thank you for the vote of confidence. Okay, I'm just gonna... Ah! I'm gonna wait like a second before I swing my sword. That's the problem. That is the problem. Green chest, it's gotta be worth it. Frost giant is awesome. Well, it's okay. <laughs> it's really quite good. I think there's a lot of like people earlier on in the the game's lifespan. People were saying that most guns are bad. I don't find that to be the case at all. I think like half of the guns in the game are. I'm excited to get, to be honest. And. Uh, then like 25% of them I'm like okay with. I, so like, I don't know. I, I'd say that those people are just, they're hoping for too much out of their weapons. Like they need too much from their weapons. Okay, I'll, I'll say it. Those people need to need to get good. I'll, I'll, I'll just say it. <laughs> Cause like, I don't know. If you, if you think that the majority of the guns in the game are bad, then you are, you need too much from your gun. I don't know. Boop. I think Frost Giant is, is really good, and I wouldn't even say it's, it's probably not even in the, my top half favorite weapons. All right, wait, so we can not get hurt by these guys. That is satisfying. That is so satisfying. Into the room of Frost Giant? Yeah. I say we save the rest of this ammo. Oh. For later. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> With that? Oh, come on. Give me health. Junk is okay. Not worth a key. Uh, there's no red hearts in our shop. I'm taking... I've taken so much damage on this first floor already. I don't know why. Huh. I guess I don't really need to be using this sword. Oh my god. Alright. That stinks. Let's go fight the boss with one heart. I'll tell you what though. We're gonna come back from this. It's not gonna be that big of a deal. I'm, I fully believe. Look at the damage this gun does. It does a lot. We have so many blanks. I had so many that I could have just saved them for the next floor, and it wouldn't have been the worst idea, but now there's very little reason for me to not use them. There we go. We got a lot of health in basically now, but like not, not in the best way. What we could do is buy a key here. This is maybe a stupid idea. This room up here is either a healing place, which would give me I also didn't talk about how I actually really like the M1. 
Healing? No. Mapper. But we get, uh, oh, QQ. Wait, can we have this stuff now? No. What is this? What does this do? I don't, I don't think I've had it. It looks kind of funny. I'm not going to talk. I'm not going to say anything. Fires tears with momentum. Made of eyeballs bound together in a gun-like. Uh-huh. Gun-like. Shape. Tears are a surprisingly effective projectile for exploring dungeons. That Isaac reference. Oh my god. You see that? It's Isaac. I move up, I move down. You see where my my uh, cursor is. It does fire with momentum. And <laughs> that might not be the best thing in the world for Gungeon. But we'll see. It is totally an, an Isaac thing, though. It's not here. I don't think it's going to be in that one either. Let's just go up final room here. I was just trying to figure out if it fires with momentum. Yeah, no. If like if we shoot forward while moving forward, it should go further as well. So I'll have to consider that. But it is, it it's Isaac. Boop. Oh my god. Oh, it's, oh, it's weird. Oh, it's weird. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's difficult to get used to. <laughs> oh, I thought I would get out in time. Momentum is not really something you want in this game. Okay, I dodge rolled into that. I'm just spending too much mental energy. Oh shoot. No! Oh, we froze all of the uh all the water from the tearjerker. No. So does it work like can I I aha! Do I want the ground to be icy though? Does that actually harm enemies? Well, I mean, I know it doesn't do damage, but does it? Do they have to slip around? Let's find out. Doesn't look like it harms them at all, to be honest. I want this. Green chests are—they're the standard uh, of chests that you kind of like hope for. I'm kind of looks like uh, it doesn't mean anything for enemies the icy floor which which is a bummer I thought we maybe had an interesting synergy offer a gun at the uh, well we might do that to get full health on blasphemy it might be worth it uh, alright I'm getting the hang of this gun a little bit more now it's just, it is super wonky to have momentum-based bullets and a targeting, like a moving tar tar like target point. Whoop, like that's, you know, Isaac could have it and the, the momentum tears, but yeah, there's a reason why it doesn't. And I know I, I'm not complain I'm not complaining about the weapon. Ah! It doesn't have to be like my favorite. And in fact, it's it's not even bad. It's not even it's not even bad. It is just a little weird to get used to. In fact, like it does pretty good damage, and I don't know. It leaves the water. It can maybe be a synergy you could do with it, but it does good damage. I'm stuck. I'm. St Why did I get stuck there? Oh, pop. All right. I swear I got stuck too. I I mean, 
I don't just stop moving. When I when I do my weird stops and like get hit and stuff, I'm usually like running into a wall or something. All right, I think we're gonna toss the tearjerker for health if we find or can purchase health from the shop here. But we got the M1 and the Frost Giant, two pretty darn good weapons. This trap room is not too, not too bad. This is honestly not a bad place for the sword. Enemies that rely on a small amount of bullets to hit, like, whoop, they try to get you just with one, one surprise shot or whatever. What? The explosions can hit you through the wall. All right, that is something. Learn something new. But you know what that means? It means that I can hit enemies. I can hit enemies through the wall. That's something. With explosions. Assuming I ever, you know, have that show up as a possibility. Let's go open up this green chest. I'm not going to sacrifice my gun yet. I, I just, because I want to, like, I want full health out of the mix. Drum clip. Boom. One size fits all. We can fire a lot more before we have to reload. It's handy. It's definitely very handy. Especially with something like the Frost Giant. Um, I'm gonna need ammo, though. Boop. Maybe I should start using the M1? That was probably the grossest hit I've had in a long time. All right, let's fill up the Frost Giant. Whoop, tearjerker. I'd say it is like the the worst one we've got right now. Which is fine. Interesting item. I, lo I love, you know, I love Isaac. That doesn't mean I have to think the, the item that in this game that references it is like the best. But truth be told, it, I think it is a good enough item to carry you pretty far. All right, I guess we just go for this M1 Frost Giant. Yeah. Meduse. Well, Meduzi, the Gorgon. Uh. Am I hitting? I couldn't even tell for a second there. I want to get away. Oh, not that far away. You will really have problems with her if you go that far away. Okay. Oh, I pressed my blank button, so I'm glad that it's uh, glad it didn't register. So we got two keys here: the health thing and an AK-47, which is actually, despite being such. A simple item is probably one of the best um, standard weapons in the game. And I say, by standard weapon, I'm saying, um, look like, you know, weapon that looks like a normal gun. Do we go for the blue? I think we go for the blue. I'm trying to think of any that would be better, but just like guns, and by that, of course, Oh, I think everybody knows what I'm talking about, but, you know, guns based off of real guns. Trick gun is not good. Uh, it's not that bad, I guess, but it's worth a heart to me. Hopefully we... F I'm not going to trade anything else. Hopefully, hopefully we do find... Okay, let's go for this, too. Let's go for this. If it, this ends up being the healing people, I'll be disappointed, but I'm assuming it's going to be a shop. Aha! We could buy the stuffed star. Might not be a bad idea. One level of curse. It's not a bad idea, I don't think. One level of curse is not that bad of a thing. If we run into the cursed door, we're going to want one level of curse already. Uh, the... I just... <laughs> yeah. 
I, I don't want to go over the, the whole why I'm not searching for secret rooms. It's time. 19 bullets to work with here, and I just shot half of them into the wall. That's the only problem with big bullets. Yeah, we're gonna be running with a really standard, standard looking build. I'm gonna eat, like, I'm gonna keep the AK 47 oh, for a little bit. Just because. Oh, just because it's good. You can fill up the frost shine, so never mind to the... Ooh, uh, plague pistol is one of the better simple pistols. I think the AK is going to be better for boss fights, so I don't feel any shame in using this frost giant now. It gets the job done, and it gets the job done really fast. It's basically like it fires as you click. Go in there with the star man. I, I guess it's not a star man. It really is, though. I'm to go in there with the star man and just, like, roll around. Oh. If I could get a half heart, that'd be nice. Just to... Oh, the ruby bracelet. Ugh. This is an item that's not very good. The ruby bla uh, bracelet lets you throw your weapon. Well, okay, you can. You. This is why it's useless. Is because you can throw your weapons when they're out of ammo. You can throw them as a projectile. You just. You don't really want to though. Like, there's not much of a reason to. So. But the ruby bracelet makes it so they explode when you do that. To do that, you need an empty gun, which I will have very shortly. They explode, though. I don't know if that means permanently gone. And I don't even... I don't really want to find out. i do it with the plague pistol. Because it's not as good as the frost giant. So I guess I'll start using this. Because it's totally acceptable. It's it's good. It's it's good, but I would say the frost giant is a little a little better. Higher damage doesn't rely on the poison. This doesn't necessarily rely on the poison either. Or uh, well, <laughs> um, it doesn't necessarily rely on the poison because it does fairly good damage. But you can tell that, like, it would deal a little bit more if it didn't poison. Like, it's a little bit of a trade-off. I'm coming for you! Uh-oh. Okay. Why, why did I get poison there? I wasn't stepping on any of the poison puddles. I didn't think. Uh, shop needs a key. That is the worst. Bike pistol, extra nice here because all enemies coming through this path should be insta poisoned. Oh, uh, this sucks. I have the opportunity to. I mean, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, I'll I'll give it a shot. Just just oh, uh, just because we'll use it as a weapon. That was pretty nice. I will admit that was pretty cool. Not as bad as I thought. But you have to remember to pick it up. Ah, uh, and I, it caused me to get hit there because I. It's going for it. I don't know, it's kind of nice. Wait, how'd that guy die? Hmm. Hmm. I 
don't know. It might be nice against some bosses. And another problem is if you throw it in a pit, it's gone. Or if you forget to pick it up, it's gone. Because, uh, because the rat, basically. I don't have any keys and I can't, oh, this sucks. I can't go to the shop to get my guaranteed key for the floor. Why not kill? Why does that not kill? Also, why was that the only enemy in this room? That's, that's the more important question. Oh, it's a shame. All right, what are we gonna use for the fight? AK-47, probably? Let's go in there with the plague pistol ready to throw. Oh, that's not the AK. Ah, dang it. I was playing around with my food too much. Yo. Oh. Huh. No. Oh. This is such a waste. It's not it's not worth the effort at all. Let's just stand here with it. AK-47 in the face. It's gonna wear off. Okay. Like, it's worth it sort of right now. Since I'm not doing anything. He's got some really nasty setups right now. Why am I taking so much damage on Cannon Balrog of all enemies? Yeah. Ooh. That's a good weapon. That is a really good weapon. No freaking keys, though. That's terrible. If we could manage to find a secret room, that'd be nice. This is one run where I am a little bit more tempted. And even though this gun is awesome, it's gonna be much better for, at finding secret rooms. Uh. Dang it. It's just, if we leave this floor, no keys. I guess I'll check over here. Can you show up in this room? I don't think so. What else would we look... F where else would we look? Maybe by the entrance. I know that they can show up in here. I think they can show up anywhere. But, oh my god. I, I'm wasted so... Much ammo already. Well, there goes that. Ah, that sucks. There's all the ammo for that. I probably, sh I probably just should have used a different, the M1, even though it would have taken much, much longer. Oh wait. Let's, let's at least do this due diligence. I mean, put this chest out of its misery, can get half a heart back. That's something. Oh, it's so disappointing. Shops with keys on the, locks on the doors should not exist in my opinion. I, I, if I could remove one thing from the game, I do not think locked shops are necessary. I think it's silly. I, like, I know I know it's part of the game to be jerkish, but I feel like that's jerkish in a in an, a little bit of an anti-fun kind of way. Bow, 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 bow. And honestly, it's like one of the only complaints I have with the entire game. Like, I I really don't I don't I don't have complaints with this game. It's a dang good game. 
I wouldn't already have like 40 something episodes in the series if it wasn't a dang good game. There's key! Thank you! I wish I got the last floor. No! 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 Oh. I almost made it out of that room without getting a hit. We're so close to getting to full health again, not that it matters that much. Ooh, I like that. I mean, probably, you know, I probably would prefer a, a solid weapon instead, but. That or like a, oop, in place, place of health. More, I'd rather have any other passive stat increase probably than health, but health is really nice. Oh, oh, curse no, curse no. All right, gotta use the big guns. Well, quite, quite literally, got to use the big guns. All right, what do we want? M1? Save the Zor gun for bosses, probably. Beautiful. We haven't had very many solid, um, passive, passive run. What am I trying to say? Passive carried runs. Oh, like, I, I can't remember, what was the last time we got in a... Ooh. Oh, boo that. Um, what's the last time we got in like a, like homing bullets? It's been, it's been a little while. It hasn't been forever. Because that's literally impossible. It hasn't been that long. But it's been too long. Oh. Got this at the worst time. Come here! I'm gonna chase you down! Like, it is, it is weird to think about, but yeah, those are some of my favorite, favorite items in the game to get. Oh, you're cursed now too! Don't, no! This, this is an annoying, annoying enemy to be cursed. Summoners? Oh. Give a summoner bonus health pool. You're gonna make a you're gonna make a nasty enemy. We're running low on ammo. Got the Zorgun and our standard. Do I wanna use the Zorgun? No. Will I use the Zorgun? If I gotta. Don't got it right now, though. Everybody's walking right into my trap. And we have a shop now that has no lock on the door. Holy keys! Um, I wanna fill something up, though, and what's gonna last the longest? The AK-47. Do we have a chest, a chest that we haven't opened yet? Nope. AK-47 will last the longest. While still being awesome. Oh. Oh. Shoot. Oh, Shelaton. I'll kill the summoner. There we go. Oh. Does killing the summoner make him retreat? Is that, has that always been the case and I haven't known? Oh, man. If that's true, that's really helpful. I really, really hope it's true. Also, really, really hope we start getting a little bit more drops in the ammo department. Because we're gonna run out of this shortly. Well, not shortly. We're halfway, halfway through it. But okay. 
We will run out. And I don't wanna. Let's just use our body when we, you know, in a situation like that, we should just be using our body. Because our, our face costs nothing. And I think if you can just continually roll into somebody, it does more damage than my sword. That might be completely made up. If I, I know if I had the uh, full health to pull it off, I could eat, like, you know, I could use the beam and the sword. That would absolutely do more damage than my face, but. We'll see what I can do. Oh, no to that. No. There's two of them. Oh, that worked out amazingly. Ha! Huh, how about that? All right. We lost a heart, but oh, yes. Ooh. Abyssal tentacle, look away. Oh, no. Horrifying tentacle. Okay. I mean, I already talked about Day of the Tentacle. Oh my! What? <laughs> what a weird... Is a beam weapon that doesn't fire instantly, but dang near instantly? Is it gonna be good for the boss? Uh... Doesn't appear to be doing that much. If I would have known I was fighting this guy, I would have absolutely went to purchase another blank. Oh! Come on! No, I want to get my star man! I got my star man, I should probably use it. Alright. Oh, God. No. This phase lasts so long, too. It's... Despite it being the phase... Well, the phase with the most bullets. I would not say it is the hardest. I think just the standard phase... Oh, like this is the hardest, for sure. This guy is nuts. I would go as far as to say this is the hardest boss in the entire game. Like, is he not? Ooh. No, what the hell? No! I would definitely go as far as to say that the High Priest is the hardest boss in the game. I, f I fought the final boss. I and for the point in the game that I fought him, it was not that, not as bad as fighting that guy on floor four. I don't get like, I've never, Treadnought is annoying. Wallmonger can be annoying. I, I've never, I've never felt comfortable fighting the High Priest. No matter how strong my build. I've never been in a position where I've been like, okay, find the High Priest. This will be easy. Never. I, I've yet to perfect him ever. On, uh, oh. On any of my runs, I should probably do this. I heard about boss rush mode. I want to make sure I get that sometime. So, we'll probably start to do that soon, but next run, I think we're going to try out the uh, blessing mode. This lady right up here. We'll see, though. But that's about it for this... Ah, oh, disappointing end to an episode. Ah, thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you, thank you. See you next time.